All right, guys. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that you have subscribed and make sure that you have clicked the bell to be a part of the notification squad. I am here with baby Mimi. Um, for now, I'm calling her Mimi. Her name might change, um, but I am thinking of another name and I will, I will, I will let you guys know, but for now, her name is Mimi. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I should reserve Mimi for something else, but I don't know. I, right now her name is Mimi. So, um, so this is, this is how it goes. So, of course, for those that have seen my box opening, I got pretty emotional in that box opening. Um, like I have mentioned before and i'm sure everybody is having different you know challenges these days with everything going on i have a lot going on so my emotions are running very high um but at the same time this this sculpt i really really have been in love with the ping law of uh, this melee sculpt the first prototype artist that i've seen work I was blown away with the resemblance of my second daughter. So I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get this kid. And of course, you know, I knew that there was the vinyl challenge with the kit. Um, I did not know that the color of the vinyl was as challenging. So I've been working on my own kit, you know, version of this 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 baby myself and it has taken me a long time just to get the vinyl neutralized <laughs> um but anyway um I just kind of pushed to the side because I got other stuff you know that I need to complete before I really really get so you know so into that because when when I have such a personal um obsession with a kit uh it it will take all my attention because I'll get so into it. So anyway, so um, like I said, even though she is not the same skin tone as my daughter um, was at this age or even now, my daughter is still lighter than this now. Um, in fact, she's actually my light my lightest uh, daughter as far as skin tone. Um, she won't even tan in the summer. <laughs> But, um, so, she still, the sculpt looks so much like her. It just reminds me so much of, of her. So, of course, you know, when I saw the sculpt actually painted and not just a plain vinyl, it just triggered a lot of emotions. Um, so, that is the history behind that. And not to take away the fact that the artist did do an amazing job on her. She is beautiful. I, I do um, love the way that she painted her. Um, I'm very, very happy with the way that she's painted. And um, I think she did a, a very realistic paint job on her. Um, when you walk in the room, she grabs your attention. Um, it's like, you know, all her coloring and is, is in the right places and everything. And, you know, not that it's my place to critique another artist's work, but I think it's okay as when it's a good critique. <laughs> um, you know, art is never perfect. Um, there will always be, you know, this or that. But in my eyes, when you can see the the work and the dedication and the, the love put into the the the, the babies it, it's perfect <laughs> so um it's it's great and I actually met her artist in person at a doll show um so her her nursery name is J L S Reborn um nursery I think um and she's Jacqueline Scott now you know, I always have to give this disclosure because some people get it confused and don't understand why I do what I do. 
I am a collector, but I also am an artist. And so I try not to, I promote myself. I don't advocate for other artists or promote other artists. When I collect, I'm collecting as a collector. So a lot of people expect me to keep posting the artist's name, posting the artist's name. I'm not going to do that. But I want people to be very clear that this is not my work because I don't want to take credit for somebody else's work. But at the same time, I am so proud that I have been able to collect from two um, artists that, you know, mutually like my work um that i mean you know i like their work they like my work whatever but it just to me is big is bigger than just the dolls itself it's just a thing of um and y'all know everything is a teaching moment for me and everything is a life lesson for me when i have tried to buy from certain artists and I, and, I, and I don't think that they did not like me or it was because of no other reason than, you know, just not sure if I would critique their work harshly or, you know, um, or whatever. Um, and I, I can understand that because, like I said, and I think I've said this in videos before, that has happened. In this community a lot you see that a lot you see other artists tearing out other artists to build themselves up I am NOT that I am very confident in who I am I know where I am I know what my place is and I also know that there are going to be other great artists out here and it's so many collectors out here there's no way that one artist can paint for everybody um, we all have our different painting styles. I think these babies work well together. I think they, they blend well together. Um, but the paint style is, 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 is different. Um, it is, it is very different and it's, um, but it is, well, I can say, I'm saying this as it, you know, because it's my work. But in my opinion, they're both really beautiful. But I, I don't know. It just feels good that, you know, other artists are confident in themselves to say, hey, okay, if she want to buy my work, I'm going to let her buy it. Um, most of the very, very high-end artists that's going to charge you, like, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars for their work, um, they don't have a problem. They will sell you long as you got the money, your PayPal work, and you're not a scammer, they're selling. They don't even flinch a lot of times. And, but sometimes I want something more rich and authentic when it comes to my African-American babies. And I'm not saying that from a racial standpoint or anything like that, just because there's something that is magical when someone of color that is good at what they do um, paints a, ba a black doll. I think because we, we are of the culture, we are black, we've seen babies in live motion that we we're not going off of google we're not going off of brushed photos we're going off the real thing we can look at ourselves. we can look at our hands we can look at our feet we are black art and it's different and will i collect a black doll from a non-black artist absolutely i for for years i collected so many dolls from non-black artists so it's not about me saying, oh, you know, non-black artists can't paint black dolls because I've seen some do amazing jobs, but it's just not the same. I have collected from some very, very high-end artists that does very well with black dolls and that they're not black. Um, but 
it's always that little thing that makes it click. It's just little things. And, um, and you know, it might be the same for when, you know, black artists paint non-black dolls. I don't know. Um, I've been exposed to, you know, real life non-black babies, <laughs> white babies, um, and biracial babies. Haven't much experience with Hispanic babies or anything other than that, but definitely black babies and white babies and biracial babies. I've been around that all my life. So I have some idea of it, but I don't have that natural instinct reference. So I always kind of like second guess myself when I am painting, um, you know, white babies or, you know, or whatever. But, you know, again, there's other artists out here that does amazing at both. This art is just so unique and it's, it can be as simple as we want it to be or it can be comp as complex as we make it to be. I think if we just enjoy the dolls and enjoy the art and allow people to collect freely whatever they like and whatever they choose, whether it's white babies, black babies, blue babies, green babies, in between babies, I think we'll be okay. But I'm having this conversation because it's one of those conversations that people don't like to have. And I just want to just, every time I get a baby from an artist that's not um, you know, it's a, or a baby from somebody that I didn't paint, you know, or a baby that I didn't paint, you know, I just, it just, I get excited because I haven't been able to do that in a long time. Um, it feels as if once I started painting, um, I lost my privilege to collect. Just like I lost the part of my voice to speak on how I feel about certain things. And, and part of that is understandable. I shouldn't be openly and publicly, you know, criticizing another artist or, you know, a sculptor. Uh, yeah, and it's kind of rocky, but yeah, I think I should have a level of respect there too if I want to be a part of, you know, selling or, you know, doing it partially as a, you know, part-time business or whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I lost my voice to be able to be as open as I used to be, as vocal as I used to be. But some of that is actually also growth too. I felt like I think I, at some time, I just said how I felt and I didn't really take in full consideration the impact. And maybe because I didn't know that it was as personal as it is until I start painting myself because a lot of people say don't take it personal but it is kind of personal because artists put their heart and their soul in their work most of them even when it's not that great a lot of them have done their best and they they think that they're doing amazing and yeah if you never say it's not perfect or you know carefully give feedback they will never know that they could grow more unless they're one of those people that push themselves. But at the same time, there's a way and a place to do that. And I don't think that I did that always the right way um, in the past. But like I said, I didn't know how it felt to spend hour after hour working on a baby and thinking it's beautiful because you're biased because you're heart and soul and hours and sweat went into that baby and then for someone to you know get on camera and say it looked like crap um but now I do so yeah but anyway <laughs> I am planning on doing a lot of role play with this little girl and maybe Phoenix will add in there because he is really like trying to figure out if he wants to like her or not he likes to sit by her, but he's kind of like, yeah, I don't want you to really touch me so much. And she's kind of like, okay, brother, I'll just sit right here, but I'm not going to bother you. And you can figure me out on your own. 
she's a very quiet baby. I think she's um she's more of an introvert, I think. She doesn't um she's not as verbal. Um but she's smart and she pay attention to stuff and she likes doing stuff. She likes drawing. Scribbling on paper, if you want to call that drawing. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll get more into her, about her. Um, We'll get into her age and we'll get her all acclimated. I just wanted to just share a little of that. Like I said, I y'all may catch me in very... A very emotional state but hopefully everything will work out and I will be whew, able to just stop being so emotional about everything um, like Nini said she, <laughs> Nini said y'all know Serenity is always pregnant it's just the pregnancy that making her emotional um, I have a headache <laughs> still a slight headache so it's like three o'clock in the morning I got up, took something, put something on my stomach because I had to take some medicine for my head. And, um, yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to explain that, that it, you know, uh, the emotions was just, I was happy and relieved that the, that Mimi looked like her photos. And also I was, it just reinforced how much this kit favors my daughter. And that is just amazing, you know, when that happens. Um, I, man, I thought the Willows by Claire Teller looked like my kids. And it does, but this kit really, really um, gets me. Um, so I, I hope that I'm able to pull off the lighter skin tone on my, my version and see if I can make her look even more like my daughter. Um, I probably won't do the hair the same as my daughter. My daughter had a lot of thick hair and I was trying to find the photograph but it looked like I'm going to have to pull out the album and probably snap a picture of it or something. I may share it, um of her and you know that she where she looks like this this um this kid so that is that my heart is full i am feeling very very happy with the way my collection is going i'm expecting one other baby jersey and but it's a baby boy and um we will see how things go but now that i am oh my gosh y'all gonna trip out when I tell you this now that I am really looking forward to collecting a few more toddlers <laughs> because now I want to complete my family and when I say my family I want to do so I have Phoenix he will represent my son they won't be the same skin tones and stuff like that but I have four daughters and one son and so I want them to all be toddlers so that's going to be interesting. So I probably will end up changing the nursery around. And um, I am even considering um, possibly, um, well, we'll talk about that later. But I might let a few more babies go. Um, but yeah, so that is that. And I hope no one took anything the wrong way in this video and I just want to say thank you to all my fellow artists that's out there doing their thing um I love to see other artists versions and their the different paint styles I think that's what made this you know this community great um besides it's great that we all paint differently I mean I for one cannot stand seeing the same doll being painted the same exact way over and over and over again it's absolutely annoying um so with everybody painting their own way and it's 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 a beautiful thing so i'm very very happy with her um 
and I, I love this kit guys I love I'm gonna come back and just do see if I can sit down with her and just show you guys how she can just pose all different ways I just love that about her I'll, I'll be back